Hi, welcome to this week's Family Art Challenge. And this week we're looking at a technique which um, was called brass rubbing. Um, we won't have any historic medieval brasses in our houses. So we're gonna look for exciting and interesting textures. That's what things feel like. So for things that have interesting texture that will come out well, on our rubbings. So all the equipment you will need is a sheet of ordinary paper and then an ordinary pencil. If you don't have a pencil, what I found was an old half dried up felt pen worked really well. You can try with a pen, it works, but it's not great. And if you've got any wax crayons, they are fantastic. So um, we're gonna look for textures. The most um, interesting place to look for textures is to go out into a garden or park. Um, so if you go out, you've got stone, you've got brickwork, you've got trees, you've got leaves. And um, I happen to have a piece of a tree, which was uh, what our Christmas tree came with. And you can see on the outside of the trees, we have bark, um, which is rough and very patterned. So I could take my bit of paper, I could put it over my bark, get my pencil, and we're not scribbling because that will break the paper. We're using the side of the pencil and just colouring very lightly. And it might take you a few goes to get the hang of this. And then I can see I'm just starting to get a pattern from the bark coming through. So you could do that onto a tree where it is in the park. Um, you can also do leaves and the best leaves are quite strong. So um, this is a beautifully shaped leaf, but it's quite soft and floppy. So that won't work very well. But I've got a dry old beech leaf and this I think is a laurel leaf and they're stronger. So let me just tip the down. So if I put my leaf under my paper, and I use the side of my pencil to rub very lightly. You will see that I've got, you can just see it in this light, I've got my leaf pattern has come out here. Uh, let's try the laurel leaf. Um, you'll see I'm doing it from the back because there's more texture on the back. The front is smooth and the back has the, the ribs of the leaf make a texture, they make it rougher. So I'm having a go at this leaf. I'm doing it quite quickly because I want to show you quite a few textures, but have an experiment because you might find if you do it a bit more slowly, and there you can see I have got the shape of my leaf. They don't, they don't show up too well on the camera, but in real life they look really good. So those were leaves. Some of the other things you could experiment with, um, that's just a piece of wood that we had in the garden, so that made a good texture. This is a broken tile that's come off an old roof and it's got the name of the manufacturer on the back. That would come up really well as a rubbing. But then I had a look in my house and I had a look in the kitchen. So I could do a rubbing on a sieve. Lots of different textures on a grater. Be careful with the, the big one because that's quite sharp. But with the others, if you put the paper over it, I'm doing a big one and I get a kind of spotty pattern, but let me show you some I did earlier. So um, if you look at these, I've got, um, these are my greater patterns with the big one under there. Um, I've got some wood. I 
we've got um we've got a belt so i found an old belt which is really old but it's got um a textured pattern on it so that came up quite nicely and i even had a go at the bottom of the shoe so you can see oh and i had a go at the handle of a spoon the other thing that's really nice to do is coins because the pattern on those comes up really easily so we want you to experiment and get your your green challenge would be just to find one pattern um, made from a texture and then your amber challenge would be to find quite a few patterns and experiment with different materials and see what texture they give you and then you could if you wanted to you could use different patterns to make a sampler so you end up with a very beautiful piece of artwork and we showed you those on the other videos but let me just show you how you could do it so you could take each pattern so this one is a bit of fence this one is a bit of the tile this one is a bit of paving slab this one is a plank and this one is a brick so all I've done is to arrange them in a line and if I then made another line and another line I would end up with a sampler and it would be a way of really taking pride in the work that you've done so um, instead of just having a sheet with your rough designs on you would cut them out into a neat shape and then making a pattern with them, making a pleasing design and thinking about what makes a good sampler. If you had glue, you could stick those down onto a sheet of paper. If you didn't have glue, you could just arrange them on a surface and you could maybe experiment. Do they look better on a dark background or a light background? Take a photograph and send it to us. We can't wait to see what amazing textures and patterns you come up with.